Hey, welcome back to Spirit Music Meetups. Mike Burris here. Hey, we're on page 31 in this great book we've been gleaning through. I have like 200 different resources to glean through. Drumstick Control by Jeff Moore. There you go. And we're on page 31. Page 31. Which is talking about building paradiddles. Paras are a pair of singles, like a pair of socks. And diddles, which are doubles. So you got double paradiddles, you got paradiddle diddles, you can, you can make up your own names if you want to. Paradiddle diddle, paradiddle diddle, or para paradiddle diddle. So, where am I at? Oh, my favorite restaurant's right down there. Baggins, right there at the end there. Baggins Gourmet Restaurant. It's closed because it's Sunday. So, we're looking at paradiddle builders, and we are taking the good stuff. We're gleaning. And so, he's got one, a two, three, a four. But, I hear a pattern. So he's going to build a paradiddle diddle on this. Well, I hear instead of one, a two, three, a four, which is what you would hear maybe in hip hop, which is a reverse swing, because swing is two, a three, four, a one, two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, four, a one, two. That's jazz swing. So I would I would talk about two, a three, four, a one, <laughs> instead of one, a two, because they a four. Because at hip hop, reverse swing is not as common. So, what he's doing is filling in with the other hand. So, I'm going to do it. I'm going to fill in with this other hand on a different sound so you can hear the patterns. They call this hand separate so you can hear the pattern. So, I'm filling in. Counting triplets. One D dot, two D dot. One D dot, one D dot, two D dot. Three D dot, four D dot. One D dot. See how it, I go up? Make sure you can do it on the other hand. You don't want to favor your strong side. Probably do the weak side a lot more. It's that up, pick it up. So I would spend a lot more time on your left side. And then what does he do? He adds more fill in. See? Three, uh, two D da, three D da, four D da. So he's filling in some more. That's a paradiddle diddle. Pair up, pair up. So I say up, pair up, pair up, diddle. Pair up, pair up, diddle. Pair up, pair up, diddle. Pair up, pair up. Pair up, pair up, diddle. Do it on the other side. Pair up, pair up, diddle. Pair up, pair up, diddle. The limiting factor is getting up. But, you know, these doubles are limiting also. So you're going to find out your weaknesses. And so that's how you would build a paradiddle diddle. But, you know, when you look at it, right, left, right, left, right, right, or left, right, left, right, left, left, you can see other, you know, maybe other things you can use to build, build it. So I'm looking at it. 
you know, maybe you should look at it. See that? Her diddle diddle. Maybe you can see some other things to build that. Well, do I see anything? Well, we could go one to the two, three to the four, right? That's even a, a, a simpler. To hit, to hit a four. See, so start simple. So I'm building it simpler. that too. Da 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 da. Yeah, I see. That's that's in there also. So I would do all pieces of it. That's a think of all the pieces. That's a piece. That's a piece of it. I've just learned every single piece you can. So build it in every way you can. Now he comes up with other ways to count it. See, instead of uh, eighth notes, he's got eighth note triplets are up above, right? He's got uh, he's got eights and sixteenths, and he's building it, building it that way. So maybe that has a little bit jerkier sound. One and a two and three and a and da 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 ba da bum ba da bum ba ba da. Oh, that's because he's doing a paradiddle. Okay, but I would do the same thing with a paradiddle diddle. I mean, use other countings, and that's that's a pl problem, right? We could count it one and two, right? One and two, one and two, one and two. give all these different countings, different rhythms. So now the paradiddle, diddle, think about paradiddle, paradiddle. I'm sorry, paradiddle. Pair up diddle. So it's pair up. Pair up diddle. 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 all about getting up in time. First chance you have. So the right hand is just by itself. This is called isolating the hands. Single hand, right? One and a two e and and a. And then bring, talks about bringing in one hand at a time, incrementally, progressively.
Now, if you're going to bring in two hands, you're going to have para, pair up diddle, because now that comes down. Pair up diddle. Pair up diddle, pair up. 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 Now you can bring in one more hand. Pair up diddle, pair up did, did, pair up did. Pair up diddle, 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 pair up did. Okay, and then finally, all the hands. Pair up diddle, pair up diddle, pair up diddle, pair up diddle. So now you brought them all in. And that's how he builds one at a time to create the single paradiddle. But there is a lot of other ways to build this thing. And you have to ask, seek, and knock <laughs> habitually, routinely in the Greek. And you shall receive, find, and the door shall be open for you. That's in the Lord's Prayer. That's in the Lord's Prayer in uh, Luke chapter 11 and also Matthew chapter 6 and 7, the Lord's Prayers. A lot more things added, more teachings about the Lord's Prayer. Anyway, check it out. And so, we could add to this. I would say, why build it necessarily? Well, I think it's a good idea, left to right, progressively, one stroke at a time. Hard by the yard, but cinch by the inch. So yeah, you could do that. I think it's good. But what about just playing different part, different hands by themselves? I'm sorry, different left hands by themselves. So instead of just one eat, that's the first one. But what about just playing the second one? So it's one and a, one and a, just that second stroke, which is down here. That's Led Zeppelin. So, <laughs> these rhythms are used a lot. What about playing um, that third stroke? Right, left, right, right, left, right, left. So that's two E N. One and a two E N. One and a two. One and a two E N. It's the first left at E N. What about the last left, the up? One and a, one and a two e and up. One and a two e and a one and a two e a one and a a one and a. So it's a one. See the combinations, first or second, third or fourth. Now let's do first and second. We already did that. How about the second and third? So my numerical system, first and second. Now we'll do second and third. So it's one E and a two E. No, second and third will be one and a two E and. second and third. What about moving that, shifting it out over, second, third becomes third and fourth, so it's That's 
that's a cool drum beat, man. I like things at the end. You can put that on a tom-tom. So what about shifting that over to the four and the one, which is the same as the one and the four? That's one. But we're not gonna raise it up because there's no two. Yeah, that's all right. One E and a two. E and a one E and a two. E and a one. Ah, that's tricky. One E and a two. E and a one E and a two. E. There is two others, one and three positions, and two and four. One and three. One E and uh, we can't hit the two, and it's E N, right? E N. That's the third. Second is, and the uh at the very end. Uh, yeah, one and a two, one and a two, one and a two, one and a two. That's you gotta get that upstroke. One and. A some upstrokes that aren't in the other right so when you when you do some of these by themselves you're gonna have some things that have to go up at, at other times right so but it still trains your hands right and then we could do the first second and third right the second third and fourth see how I keep shifting it over the fourth uh, the first second and third then the second third and fourth and then the third fourth and first and then the fourth, first, and second, that's all the combinations of three things. And then finally at the end, right, we get the whole thing, all four. So this is how I would build it using my numerical, I'll try to put a video link there for the numerical system. But it's just one, two, three, and four. There's because there's four things. But three things would be one, two, three, two, right? One, two, and three. One, two, or three. That's your onesies. Then one, two, two, three, three, one. That's your twosies. And then just one, two, three. That's all of them. So now let's look at a double paradiddle builder. Hmm. Yeah, you got a lot here. Wow. Well, double paradiddle is. Two, two pairs, para, para, diddle, but it's like para, 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 up, diddle, para, para, up, diddle, para, para, up, because you're going to put an accent, now he's using two accents, so he's going para, para, diddle, para, para, up, diddle, para, para, up, diddle. a really good chop builder. So he's using the two accent version of it. Para, para, up, diddle. So he's going para, 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 up. Well, let's see what he's doing. 
Oh yeah, he's doing the para para up diddle, para 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 up diddle, and then it's para para up diddle, para para up diddle. So he's just doing one hand isolated, and I put that on your hand on your leg. That's what he's putting down here is the counting. And he's counting in six, eight. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four, five. I would count it uh, that way. All right? I would count it as 12, eight, not six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then what he's doing is bringing in one hand at a time. Boy, that's a slow process, but very good. I want to put two hands. Because I hear para para as a group of notes. But you could just do one. I just want to go para para, something bad. But you're going to find there is a lot of other builders that you can use in this. Believe me, just, just look at the final product of the para para diddle. diddle. Para para diddle. You just look at the final pr product. That's what counts. You'll see. Where's my finger? Where's my finger? There it is. You see that? Ah, there it is. Much better focus. That is. There's a lot of other builders in there. So. What are some builders here? I, I see one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. I like to build around the accent. that is a nice way to sneak up on it. I also see uh, para diddle at the end. Da 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 So you gotta learn how to do a para diddle. Because that's in there. That's how you get out of it, right? It's a para para up diddle. So you gotta hear that para 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 up diddle, right? Para para up diddle. So there's a lot of ways to build this. Uh, let's see, there's another way here. I like. I just hear this para 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 para. That's so obvious, and then para para. Um, you can do you can do the last half of each each group. Left, right, right, left. Is it left, right, right? Yeah, left, right, right, left. And then there's right, left, left, left. Left, right, right, left. That's how you get from the end to the beginning of the next one. End of that one to the beginning. Right, left, left, right. So you're working out transitions, ways to get from one thing to the next. 
So I'm looking at any other things. Um, revelation, man. Revelation. You can go from just one accent to the next. I'm, I'm going to go from right, left, right, right, left, right. Okay, with no biggie. How about right, left, right, left? Right, left, left, right, left. And then the other side. What do we got? Left, right, left, left, right. Left, right, left, left. So we're learning how to go from one thing to the next so that you smooth your hands out, right? You smooth your hands out. And you look for different ways to work out internal problems, right? Like the assembly line, you don't start from the beginning of the assembly line, you find the weak link. Where does a chain break when you pull on it or a rope? You pull on both ends like tug of war, it's going to break wherever the weak link is. So you don't have to strengthen the whole chain. You just have to find where the weak link is and focus on that. So we could do, you know, as you're playing through this, you might find a weak link. Okay? I think this is, that's hard to do. See how it has to go down. And then it has to go down. So that's a kind of a weak. You gotta get that hand up. I'm looking for weak links and it also looking for all these things makes it more interesting right you'll keep more attention we spent 27 28 minutes if we just did we would get bored in five minutes and called it quits <laughs> so I, I spent a lot more time obviously I'm teaching too so I like to do putting the accents on different sounds reaching out that creates motion memory and sound memory. Right? So reach out to the drum set, front and back. Reach out all of the drum set in kind of patterns, right? Rhythm is any motion of a pattern of motion or sound. So we got motion and sound. So that will help you remember it better, right? Also like to just play on two sounds. Like a drum beat. And that'll help you remember things too. Playing it isolated. Right? I like to do like three sounds. I like to put the diddles out. Let me see. Da 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 da. Reach out. Da 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 da. It's a little harder, isn't it? So 
not, I can't reach up here because my left hand match grip's easier, right? So diddles on the outside, I call it, or diddles on the inside. You could go, right? Put this between two symbols, right symbol and a hi hat. Or this could be a low tom, and this could be a high tom, and going on in the inside for the diddle and the snare drum. I call this split out because you're splitting the out and splitting the out and you're going in. So split out to end. We're going to play traditional grip. I mean, match, I'm sorry. Very good for drum set, don't you think? Playing split out and come on on, on an inside. But man, you could you could get pretty crazy here. You could say accents on two sounds, non-accents, like da 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 da. That's two different sounds, and then a third sound. down here and then so you're 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 getting like one two three one two one two so there's two sounds and the third sound and then another sound and then right and a different sound I mean, this is that's six sounds. This is one, two, three sounds, four, five sounds. One, two, three, four, five. We've already done that sound. This is five. So there's five sounds, <laughs> right? There's five sounds in there. Wow. So that your, your drum set playing is going to have some real motion to it. But this is how you get around the set, right? You really get your motions, man. I call it the motions of drumming. So I'd, I'd be interested to see what you come up with. This website is not about me teaching, but it's getting the conversation going. We're in one hat. And you guys continue this conversation. You share with one another. Give some, get some divine revelation. Ask, seek, and knock from above. See what is shown to you, or what you hear, or what you feel, and present that as well, right? So we can learn from one another, right? And then we're learning from him through each other. Isn't that awesome? So that's what we're going with on this website. It's a together with each other. Together with each other. That's what I was told together it's all about being together with each other together vertically with each other and together horizontally with each other together horizontally vertically horizontally if you don't have the vertical it's really hard to do the horizontal <laughs> not very self not very motivated to help others if you're just self-centered and that vertical gets rid of that self-centeredness takes time work get it out of your system right vertical then that gives you the ability to love one another. Love comes from, we don't, what is love? <laughs> That's a good question. What is love that we love God? No, that he loved us. I mean, how, how many people love God, really? It's, it's, everybody loves themselves, <laughs> really. They're all about themselves, you know, how many people love God? They say they do, but then it's, they're all out for themselves. I think there's that streak in all of us, loving one, just each, we just love ourselves. It makes it really hard to love others. If all you do is love yourself. If you're just thinking about yourself, that's our problem. That's our problem. So we need this to have the ability to do this. And then he says that. This is love. Not that we loved God or even that we loved each other, but that he loved us. And so we get that inside of us. We focus on that. I have a lot of videos on that. We focus on that and get that in our lives. 
And then he starts living his life through us by his spirit, by his essence, by his very nature, living in us, working that out through our lives, working it out, fleshing it out. That's how we work out our salvation, we flesh it out. Just like in the gym, you know, he told me, what do you mean you build muscle? You don't build muscle, you tear it down in a gym. What do you mean? That's pretty arrogant to say you build muscles. I, I used to have muscles, but you don't build it. You just work it out. You tear it down. You tear that muscle down. I build it, he says. When you're asleep, when you're resting, I rebuild the muscles. So it's very arrogant to say, oh, I'm going down to the gym. But it's true. If you don't tear the muscle down, it cannot build back better. <laughs> That's the real build back better. <laughs> you know. But they, boy, are they tearing down America. It ain't going to build back better. <laughs> no way. Because they're doing it. God's not doing it. <laughs> they're doing it. So, God builds it back better. If God's in the equation, he builds it back better. But if he's not in the equation, guaranteed, screw it up. There is a way that seems right to a man and it leads to destruction. His ways are higher than our ways than as the heavens are above the earth. It's a ridiculous joke to think that we can come up with some, something that we don't totally screw up. And we can see that. We can see that happen right now. It's totally screwing up. They think they're building something better. They're just rehashing things that have been tried in the past. I was here when they tried all this stuff in Jimmy Carter years. It all failed miserably. Spend, 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 spend. Print, 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 print. Total devaluation of the dollar. Complete breakdown of the chain. Gas lines like you wouldn't believe. High skyrocket prices. 22% inflation. Massive layoffs. Crippling, crippling of society. And what are we going back to? The same thing going back to the same thing. So it's all been done. There's nothing new under the sun. Ezekiel, I'm sorry, Ecclesiastes. You know, Son Solomon wrote this, wisest man ever. He says, there's nothing new under the sun. People, they just rehash this stuff over and over and over and over. And it fails just as miserably as it did before and worse. <laughs> they don't get better. They don't build anything back better. They really don't. It's just all a lie. It's a big deception. It's a fraud. It's a scheme. It's really a scheme to get money. It's all about money. The, the love of money is the root of all evil. This is all Ponzi scheme, Murdoch, uh, all these, these scam artists. You know, P.T. Barnum said there's a sucker born every day, and people just fall for it time and time again. They get, they get suckered. It's like fishing for bluegills. Man, they'll bite a bear hook. Those bluegills are so stupid, they'll bite a bear hook. And then if they get start smart, a little bit smarter, they'll just put a little wiggly worm, or heck, you don't even have to go to that expense. Just piece of little corn, and they'll, they'll just you'll catch them, and you're frying their fish. You're frying the fish. They died. You took. You got them. You got them. You caught them. And then it, it, marshmallows. Can you bet? They love mar. They like anything. They eat anything. Practically garbage. They are sucker born every minute. Sucker, P.T. Barnum, the ultimate carn artist, the carnies they call it, carnival scam artists, sucker born every minute. Well, that's what we got, and and people fall for this, unbelievable, mass media, uh, they're fanning the flames of deceit and fraud, it's, it's horrible, and they should all be held accountable, really, for all the damage that they've done, And but the media has always done that, they, uh, they always get on the wrong side of things. You can see this all through history. I'm, I'm 62 year old. I've seen so much fraud. The media is paid off. They're all in cahoots, man. They, they're all meeting in back rooms. They're getting telegrams, the memos. They got the memo that says this, this, and this. And, and they say it 17,000 times so that you'll believe it. You know, like watching commercials that says, buy this junk. Buy this junk, it's really great. Buy this junk, it's really great. So everybody out goes and buys the junk, <laughs> and it's not really great. It's junk. And that's why they keep advertising it so much, because nobody will buy it without advertising. So they just keep pumping and dumping, pumping and dumping. It's like illegal trading, you know. All these people getting caught and not caught. You know, a lot of people that know it's all about, in, in, the, in this world of greed, it's all about knowing people in low places. Actually, they call them high places, but they're really low places. I know people in all the high places, but they're really low lives. 
<laughs> That's what they're saying. And they make all the inside trades. I, I know people at the SEC, and they'll keep me from getting caught, but then Martha Stewart gets caught and throws into prison, you know, because they wanted to make an example out of her. But they won't, you know, they won't make an example of out of all these politicians, Pelosi and his, her, his, um, her husband that make all these insider trades, it's so obvious. But they have all these friends on the SEC, the board, you know, the Securities and Exchange Commission. So they never get in prison. Isn't that amazing? Um, so it just goes on and on. The good old boys patting each other on the back, you know, smoking their big stogie cigars behind closed doors, you know, plotting the demise of the world. It's crazy. Uh, they think they can just get away with it forever. I mean, and, uh, you know, think about it. Uh, organized crime bosses that ran all these blue cities for so many years, uh, they thought they could get away with it forever, and a lot of them did. They went to their grave, never got caught. But a lot of them did get caught, and they they were prosecuted, and they are they were in prison, and they never got out. You know. So anyway, uh, we'll see. Right, the truth will come like an avalanche that will shake the earth. The Lord told me that very clearly. January 2021, the earth will come. The truth will come like an avalanche that will shake the earth. And you know what happens in the avalanche? Everybody looks the other way, says, Ah, there's nothing to this. And that I've caught char I've actually created two avalanches, so I know that I looked away and I got my finger torn off by one avalanche and I almost got totally clobbered by another avalanche. I was a stupid kid, arrogant, thinking, oh, it can't happen to me, nothing to it. It's nothing. But the earth is moving underneath all, all and you don't even know. It. You don't even know what's moving underneath until it's too late. And then it's on top of you and you can't get out of the way. Almost didn't get out of the way. Well, I didn't get out of the way in the first one and almost didn't get out of the way in the second one. So the truth is going to come like an avalanche that will absolutely shake this earth. Not just the USA, but it's going to shake the earth. Praise the Lord. I can't wait to see this. Hope you got something out of the drumming, uh, building your paradiddles and uh, paradiddle diddles and double paradiddles. And why don't you put down here how to do that for others? Maybe you have some other ideas. God bless you. Bye -bye.